Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is from pprint, I'm going to import pprint as pp. And then from iter tools, import star. I'm also going to key in import iter tools. You'll see why in a moment. Now I just keyed in PP, this guy over here, pretty print. Give me a directory listing of all the functions and methods and iter tools. And it gives me a long list. Well, fairly long. One of the old functions I don't see here is IMAP. IMAP has disappeared from t from the old 2.7, and it's now become MAP. So I'm going to use that function just for old times' sake. A is equal to MAP, and then I key in the, the power function that I wanted to use, and I'm going to give it the uh, base 2, 3, and 10. And I'd like that to be mapped to oh, 100. That's good. And I'd like that to be mapped to this. Uh, 2 to the 5th is 32. 3 squared should give me 9. And 100. Hmm. Let's tr let's be let's be daring. Let's put five, one over two. See what happens there. I might get an error on that, but we'll find out. Uh, now this is an iterable. It's an object. I have to go through it like this for x in a print. X. And oh, that worked. So, 100 to the 1 half power is the square root of 100. Okay, very good. So, 2 to the 5th power is 32. 3 to the 2 power is 9. And 100 to the 1 half power, that's the square root is 10. And that was returned to A as an iterable. So I can iterate through A using a loop like this. I do believe this used to be IMAP in 2.7. It's now just MAP. And I don't find it in the directory listing of, uh, of, uh, of iter tools anymore. But here's one that's still here, star map. Let's do star map. Now in star map, I'm going to do the following. Star map, I want you to use the uh, power function on the following sequence. 2 to the 5th, that should give me 30, 32. 4 squared, that should give me 16. And 2 to the 7th should give me 128, I believe. Yeah, 2 to the 0, 1, 2, 3 is 8, 4, 5, 6, 64, and 7 is 128, I do believe. All right, let's find out. May hit enter. And it assigned those answers, all, all of them, to be as an iterable. So to see it, I have to uh, loop through this thing. So... Let me go save myself some time. For X and A, I'll just change the A to a B. And this should do it. For each element, I'll call it X. That's in B. And there's three elements. Print out each one of those elements one at a time as you hit it. Okay, here we go. And there we go. Two to the fifth 
is 32. 4 squared is 16. 2 to the 7th power is 128. Wow. Uh, the next one we'll do is uh, x equals, and then I'm going to make a list, 1, 2, and 3. Close off the list. And that's a regular variable being assigned to a list. So the next thing I want to do is use the t function or t method that's in the iter tools. So zb equals t, and I had that x. Now what that just did is that it assigned this guy to b and to z as iterables. So if that's true, then I want to go through Z and B through a for loop. I'll use this guy up there. For each X in, oh, I don't want to use X. That's that variable. I could get in trouble. For each A in Z, print A. So I'm going to loop through Z using variable A. And at each occurrence of A, I want to print it out. I want to print out A. So first A will be equal to 1, then 2, then 3. Okay, let's see it. I think I said that right. Yeah. All right. So for each A and Z, it did 1, and then 2, and then 3. It assigned each one of these guys to Z, and each one of these guys to B. Huh. All right. Did it work also for B? Because I assigned it to Z and to B. So for each A and B, print A. Okay, that's good. So I should get 1, 2, and 3 again. And I do. Wow. So, uh, from the Iter Tools module, we went over map, star map, and T. This is uh, George Bull. I hope this video was useful to you. Uh, please rate the video. I'd appreciate that. And good luck.